I'm Steve Rossetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director. And here we are in CyberLink Power Director. And one of the great features of Power Director, or one of the great bonuses actually, is that when you install the program, you automatically have free access to the Director Zone. And the Director Zone is kind of an online library where you can uh, contribute and download media absolutely free into your program and this media comes in a variety of formats this media can be templates this media can be special effects these media can be transitions and we'll take a look at that in just a moment first let's talk about how to sign into the director zone if you're not already signed in I recommend you do you can do it by clicking on this little link in the upper right of the program and I've already got my sign in information there so all I have to do is just toggle it back on but creating an account is easy uh, you can either click on that link or click on the little cog here at the top of the program open your preferences and there on the director zone page you can get an account again it's absolutely free no obligation just comes with the program and I highly recommend you do it now you'll see this little DZ button the director zone download templates button in a number of places you'll see it here in your picture in picture room you see it in here in your particle room by the way only when all content is selected if you're in one of the subcategories you won't see it here you'll see title templates you'll see transitions and if you go over here to create disk under menu preferences which is the uh, menu where you select your disk menu in the upper left you'll also see download templates is available there all of them take you to the same spot ex except different pages on the same website so let's just go back here for convenience sake go to particles and here in the particles we're going to select download templates it's going to open up our web browser and take us to the director zone and you can see if you want to manually go to any one of these subcategories you can picture in picture objects particles titles transitions disk menus there's also magic style sound clips video presets all absolutely free the only thing you have to pay attention to when you download a template is the aspect ratio. Let me show you what that means. My aspect ratio for my project is 16 by 9. You can see it up here in the center of the program and you can change it there in the center of the program. Uh, because I'm using widescreen video, AVC HD video, which most of us are probably shooting in, I have it set to 16 by 9. Now because it's set to 16 by 9, when I go over here to the director zone I want to make sure that any templates I choose are 16 by 9 if I were to download golden hearts for instance you notice in the upper corner it says 4 by 3 if I download that it will not allow me to use that particular template or that particular set of particles in my project so I need to select something like these estralas these stars here I have need to choose a template or a document or a file that is 16 by 9. Once I choose it, it pretty much happens automatically. I click the download button and click download. So I'm going to restart Power Director. And if I go over here to Particles, download it, there it is, my Astralis. And now I can use that right here in my project. Absolutely free, no obligation. Users contribute them to the site. Now you can also be a contributor to the site, by the way. And to do that, all you need to do is modify or create your own. And as you know from my book, you can select a template here. In this case, I'm in the particles. And you can go over here to select the modify button. And you get this particle designer where you can modify the existing particles. Or you can select the option to create a new particle object on your own and you can do that using any one of their graphics or create your own transparent ping and make a custom particle design. Let's use soccer balls, huh? That takes you also to the particle designer and here in the particle designer you can modify the behavior of that particle. So right now we've got soccer balls kind of, let's see what they're doing here. They're kind of just spitting out from this point. We can modify where this point is. Uh, we can change the emission method and the patterns. These are well worth exploring. It's great fun what you can do. Different styles, different motions, and different paths for the motions. So now you can select this path. And now our soccer balls are emitting as they flow over that kind of S path. 
Now, once we've created our particle or modified our particle and customized it, we can share it with the world. Simply click the share button here at the bottom of the particle designer and you will see the same share button whether you're in picture in picture, whether you're in title templates, whether you're in transitions, whether you're in disk templates. And when you click that, you can name it. We can call it soccer balls and click OK. And then right here we have the option of sending it to the director zone and then once you tag it with some information here give it a description you can just confirm the copyright disclaimer make sure you're not using anything illegally and once you've checked that and click next it will be uploaded to the director zone now if you want to know more about this wonderful program how to use these designer panels and how to do almost anything in this program, how to edit, how to add these effects, and how to customize, be sure to check out the tutorials and tips we have on our website here, moviepix.com. Or if you want to know everything there is to know about the program, check out our books. The moviepix.com guide to CyberLink Power Director, available at Amazon.com and of course right here at the MoviePix store. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.